breakthrough healthy brownie recipe. My new cookbook comes out in 16 weeks. You hungry? We've eaten. April, good morning. Morning. Oh, is this from the focus group? Yes. It didn't wow anyone. Oh. Well, you know, it it actually it looks like they didn't make it um properly, so what did they say? Dense. Bland. Tastes like sawdust. Healthy never tasted so bad. Uh, that's enough. Unfortunately, half of the recipes came back with negative feedback. What about the other half? <laughs> well, all of the recipes need to work. Right. Well, I can revise them. I'll, um, I'll simplify them. It's not that. It's the recipes. Look, your brownie recipe on social media made you an instant success. An upcoming chef, but... Unproven. Maybe things happen too quickly. The last thing we, our publishing house, and you want to do is release a debut cookbook that's not even ready. It'll be better to wait. We're fine, you know? Well, these are healthy recipes. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter if no one wants to eat them. We'll postpone for now. Wait, you, you're canceling the book? No, postpone. Until you have time to rethink things. What, what happens if you don't like what I make next? Well, then the healthy brownie recipe is your one-hit wonder. There's no shame in that. Um, no, I... Um, no, I'll, um, I'll start over. I'll throw these out completely. If you're not happy, then I'm not happy, and I, I know I could make way better recipes than these. The book is supposed to go to press in eight weeks, and we need something in four. And even then, we don't know if we'll be ready in time. And it'd have to impress the first focus group. We did three groups on this one, all of them a waste. April, I love your drive and your willingness to rework the recipes, but rushing it is not the way. But, I mean, the book has already been announced. You know, people following me online are expecting it. Publishing schedules, they, they change all the time. No, I'll... I will have something for the deadline. Something wonderful. Like what? We have a lot to do to plan for each cookbook. We have marketing, store placement, design, style. Um, Italian. Um, you know, but not your Americanized version of spaghetti and pizza. Real... Italian home cooking that the American chef can make at home. Okay, what about the health factor? You know, the substitution, locale thing? That's, that's very important for your potential brand. Absolutely, there's lots that I can incorporate health-wise. Real Italian, how do you intend to do that? Well, I have family in Italy, actually. All right then, four weeks. Okay, after that, we have to fill the gap in the publishing schedule. Absolutely, no, I, I'll be ready. Thank you. We need to start looking for backups to take her spot. So they didn't like your recipe. Don't take it so personally. It's my career, Mom. It's important. Is this a real brownie or one of those fake ones? Healthy, not fake. And you liked it before. That was before I knew it had beans and strange grains I've never heard of before. It's all in your head. April's right. Shush. Can't complain when you don't cook. You want to eat, you cook. I'll cook. Just please stop bickering. Can you make that casserole I like? Souffle, and yes, I can. Excellent. So, what are you going to do about your book, sweetie? Start over? I have to. But I don't have much time. I was, um... I was thinking I might actually go visit Uncle Derek in Italy. Derek? Why? He was always everyone's favorite uncle. Well, that's because he never married. He never had kids of his own. No, it's because I'm thinking I might try an Italian angle. It might be the only way to say my publishing deal at this point. And Italians are known for the fine cuisine, so it's perfect. That's France. No, Italy is too, Dad. But the word cuisine comes from France. I, I read it in a book. Shush. Don't shush me. It was honestly the first thing that came to my mind. I was desperate. Well, okay then. I'll call Derek. Thanks, Mom.
look up there, you guys. Hey, oh, it's so good to see you. Oh, you too. <laughs> what's, uh, what's up the sign? Oh, no, I, I thought maybe I wouldn't recognize you, you know, but you look exactly the it same. It hasn't been that long. <laughs> yeah, it's come this way. Let me take Thank this. Thank you. This place is amazing. Oh, yeah, it's an investment property, but it uh, didn't flip the way I thought it would, so I'm staying in it until I sell it. Nice. Wow, this is beautiful. Thanks, yeah, yeah, I uh, keep it ready to show. Yeah, Mom mentioned that you did something in real estate, but I had no idea that you flipped houses. Well, I, I've dabbled in some commercial properties, but uh, yeah, vacation homes are more my focus now. Why Italy? Oh, I did one of those study abroad things in college years ago, and it stuck with me how much I loved this place. So when I needed a little change, it was uh, the perfect solution. Anyway, your room's just over here. Thought you might like to uh, overlook the pool and the yard. Oh, wow. Yeah, just down the road, there's the beach, if that's your thing. Oh, my gosh, this is perfect. Thank you again so much for having me. I, I really do appreciate it. No, please. And, you know, your mother really didn't explain much your reason for the trip. Oh, what did she say? Uh, something about a cookbook? Yep. Well, I just, you know, I figure Italy would be a great inspiration for my recipes, so... Oh, yeah, no, I'm sure it will be. I think I'm a little out of the loop. I, I didn't know that you were a, a hotshot chef back home. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm definitely not. I'm <laughs> more like a trending up and comer, but I'm just, I'm still figuring it all out, really. Well, uh, rest up, and uh, if you're up a little bit later, we can go grab a bite to eat. That sounds great. didn't work. Oh, guess not. <laughs> I honestly didn't mean to fall asleep. You're supposed to stay awake as long as possible to beat jet lag, right? I literally have no idea. <laughs> I have yet to figure out for myself how to avoid that when I travel. Oh, do you get to travel to lots of other places? No, mostly just between here and home. You've been gone a long time. Do you ever think that you might move back to the U.S.? Yeah, I'm sure I will at some point. I mean, but Right now, this is my work and my life. It's good for me. So, um, how's your Italian? Do you think you could translate this for me? I'm having a little trouble here. Wait a minute, I thought all chefs knew Italian. Oh, only al dente. And I don't think that's gonna help me in this situation. Okay, come on. Okay. So, um, mm. your polo, that's, that's chicken. Mm -hmm. You got your pesce, that's your fish. Pasta. That's... Got it. Thanks. Uh, and I would go with this one here, first-timer recommendation. Okay, that's what I'll get. So what are your plans while you're here? I mean, I can take you around and do the tour of all the must-sees. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sure you're busy. I'm just gonna explore, you know, try the local cuisine. Actually, I was hoping I could cook up some stuff in your kitchen, if you don't mind. Oh, no, not at all. Oh, you know, have you have you looked into these uh, culinary tours they have? They've got a bunch of them here regionally. In fact, throughout the whole country. No, what is that exactly? Like a guide that takes you to restaurants? Yes, but also, you know, to farms and vineyards and sources for the food, you know? And they try to target all the best ones. Usually ends up being what the tourists like, but they're really, really popular. Okay. Experience the best foods and where they come from in beautiful Italy. This three-day tour includes unique tastes from charming eateries and a perspective of delectable food sources you don't want to miss. All right. 
why not? here for the culinary tour? Yeah, that's what we're here for. Oh, okay, great. Buongiorno. Ah, I am uh, Roberto, your tour guide for today's culinary experience. Okay, you have any questions you ask me, no? Yep. Have a breakfast, most important meal of the day. Today, we visit the source of the most important ingredient in Italiana cook. Which is? Oliva. Of course. <laughs> Olive oil. We use it, but uh, do we appreciate it? I, I say no. Hmm. Who do we have with us today? Uh, Stefan Yanrion, Tyson and Joy, and April. It's me. All Americanos. Yeah. Bene. Ah, come on. We eat in the van. Where is everyone from? Indiana. Florida. April, what about you? Uh, New York. Ah, of course. The olive is the best fruit. Yeah, I say a fruit that it grows on a tree. We eat them in a, a plain, in a saladas, in a pizza, in a pasta, even in a drink. And for everything else, there is olive oil. Come, we explore more. With over 500 types of uh, olive trees, Italia is the second largest producer of the olive in the world. Right now, the uh, olive is uh, small, see? But uh, in the fall, when it is time to uh, harvest, it will be big and uh, ready to enjoy. What kind of weather can they stand? Uh, excellent question. An uh, olive tree needs uh, lots of heat, uh, lots of sun. Uh, cold weather can harm the tree. Um, what about diseases? Oh, why do you ask? Uh, you want to plant an olive tree in your home? Ha, just kidding, as you say. Okay, the biggest threat of uh, disease and, uh, as you say, pests, is to the uh, flavor. Come, we do some tasting. Now that you have seen the trees, who wants to sample a true Italiana olive oil? There are many flavors to choose from that they make right here in the factory, all from the orchard, you are just in. Ah, come, try. Ah, it's delicioso. Ah, try them all. Mmm, this is amazing. Yeah, I take a photo for you. Oh no, that's okay. Oh, come, let me. Ah. Okay. Uno, due, tre. Now you have something to remember your vacation. Oh, I'm, I'm actually here for work, so. Uh, what work brings you to Italia? Cooking, actually, yeah, I, I post my recipes online. And this is a work. Hey, Roberto, do you mind taking a photo for us? Uh, you bet. Okay, here. Oh, trade. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, uno, due, tre, say, oliva. 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 April Meyer, try my healthy brownie recipe. Is this you? You looked at my profile. Uh, we have an internet. Uh, uh, but a healthy brownie, though. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Uh, so it says in all the comments. Uh, looks like you are quite the online cooking celebrity, no? <laughs> no. Well, I am honored to have you on my tour. So you come to learn to cook Italian? No, I know how to cook Italian food. I'm just here to, um... You, you try to make it a healthy, like your brownie. Yeah. Ah, I think it's smart. You know what? Uh, Americanos can learn a lot from great Italiano chefs. But uh, healthy food, uh, I myself am not a fan. I like food that uh, it tastes good. <laughs> uh, but uh, don't swear it. I won't tell anybody you are here to learn. Not a fan? 
if uh, anybody is hungry, we have a snacks inside. Oh, yeah. Roberto, where are you from? Ah, from this little village outside of where we started the tour. Right, you're originally from there. Ah, yeah. Are you even Italian? Uh, of course. I mean, don't sweat it. That's such an American thing to say. And, and your accent, it's a little, I don't know. Okay, hey, okay, fine. I'm an American. I knew it. <laughs> Is your name even Roberto? Yeah, Robert Cowley, but I go by Rob. Wow, okay, well, why, are, why are you lying? I, I'm not lying, I'm just doing my job, okay? I have no credibility doing this as an American. I mean, it's kind of a bait and switch, don't you think? Come learn the beautiful flavors of Italy from a born and bred American. It works for the tourists. I mean, you were just giving me a hard time about learning from great Italian chefs and you're not even Italian yourself. Well, I am a chef. Oh yeah, where do you cook? At a restaurant. Which one? I'm working on that. Mm -hmm. Well, not all of us can have instant success because we posted something on social media. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's this... My wife was wondering where the bathroom is. Yeah, it's just through the gift shop in the back. Okay, cool, thanks. Wait, what happened to your accent? It's a good question. All right, right this way. Everybody come inside. Mmm, the carbs. I know. Babe, how many of these can we buy? I say, oh, grazie. All right. Now, we all know the French have their bread. Does anybody want to take a guess at what makes the Italian bread so amazing? The, the herbs? Close. The olive oil. See how this is all brought back together today? Now, the herbs are key, too. They actually rest in the olive oil, marinating in that sauce to bring about that amazing flavor in the bread. Now, our gracious host, Octavio here, is going to show us how to make a mean focaccia. Let's all head to the kitchen. Hey. Hey. The whole Italian accent thing, I'm I'm really sorry. I feel bad. No. You know, I shouldn't have ruined it for the others. Nah, it's all right. It's just, uh, hope they don't stiff me on tips now. <laughs> if it wasn't for all the American things you were saying, I probably wouldn't have picked up on it. Well, yeah. And the accent was a little iffy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the first one to say something. Should I be proud of that? Nah, maybe. Let's hope the others aren't as clever as you are. I guess it's hard to hide who you really are. Well, I mean, for what it's worth, I prefer Rob more than Roberto. Why is that? Does he feel I'm more relatable as an American? Maybe, but more like it's the real you. Hmm. A different flower. Ooh, smells good. Oh, hey, I'm testing the recipes. Oh, you need a sampler? Because I am great at that. I do, actually. <laughs> Excellent. Wow, that is amazing. Oh, yeah, that's the one I bought on tour today. It's not the healthiest here. Try mine. OK, thank you. You're welcome. And how was the tour? You know, it was actually pretty good. Yeah, anything interesting? Well, the olive tree farm was pretty cool, but you know, olive oil has a lot of calories, so I'm trying to find a way to cut them out. Mm -hmm. um, is that why you chose to go with the <laughs> straight vinegar instead? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you think? Did it work? I think it may be a little strong. OK. Well, what about the bread? It's interesting. What's in it? Well, I put some wheat flour. And then I saw you had some brown rice, so I ground that up and put that in there, too. And then, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, so. Mm. Culinary secrets. Mm-hmm. Mm. A little dense. Yeah, maybe that's it. I... You know what most healthy things are? I just, I got to find a way to make it a little more yeah, yeah. Have you had dinner? Because I can cook you up something. No, no, I, I couldn't ask that. But you're letting me stay here. I mean, it's the least I can do. 
No, it's, uh, I, I had a, a late lunch. What, a rain check? Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna... Mm-mm. That's not good. Okay, who knows what makes bad fish bad? Oh, I don't eat fish. <laughs> okay, uh, what makes good fish good? Freshness. Very good. And Italy is a coastal country with the best fish. Come here, I'm gonna show you. Ooh, um, can I have one of those? You know, it seems to me that half this tour is getting us to shell out money at select shops. Do I look like I'm forcing them to buy anything? Well, you know the fish is gonna stink up the van the rest of the day, right? I got a cooler in the back. Come on, it's not my first tour. <laughs> Why do you do these tours anyways? Why not? Well, I'm just saying you're a chef, you know, most chefs I know cook. Yeah, well, I found transitioning to running a kitchen is a little more difficult than I thought. And uh, I really want to be the creative force behind the foods I make. Someday. So until then? Until then, culinary tours pay the bills. Plus, it really puts me in touch with some great chefs. Oh, do you mind if I... No, no, no. Pronto. Uh, yeah, ah, grazie. Ha, ciao. Everything okay? Yeah. Opportunity. Mm. All right, everybody. We've got reservations just down the road here. Joy, not sure if they have a children's menu, but they serve more than just fish. <laughs> So. Wow, that looks authentic. Thank you. One sec, before we eat, I'm just gonna... Perfect. Wow. <laughs> and I have a fish stew as well. Really good, boy. Oh, wow. Go. Get you a plate. You know, I just, I don't know why the fish stew didn't turn out. Well, honestly, with a name like that, did it stand a chance? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It does sound kind of gross, doesn't it? Well, I think really it was probably just the green stuff. Yeah, well, was it the kale or the Brussels sprouts that ruined it? Oh, that's what those were. Yeah. I'm gonna guess both. <laughs> you know, I was gonna add potatoes, but that's too much starch, so this was healthier. Well, you know what? The baked fish was excellent. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to mess that up. Oh. So, who are you trying to show you can cook? My publishers. Yeah, they, they didn't like my first round of recipes. Them along with three focus groups of people, so. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, I just, I have to start over. It's just really hard to make things healthy all the time. Yeah, I thought nowadays healthy meant, you know, less processed and more real ingredients. No, it, it does, it's just, I kind of got pigeonholed into this brand my publishers are trying to create for me that's all about cutting calories and fats and just... While still tasting good. Exactly, which is clearly the hard part for me. Well, again, I think for me, the baked fish is a home run. Yeah, thanks. At least I got one thing right, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hey, I'm actually gonna make one of my breakfast bars for tomorrow morning. Do you want me to leave one out for you? Uh, sure, okay. yeah. Great. Your ideas are good. Silvia says you are a great cook, and so does Giovanna. I taste your food. It's good. Grazie. But how does it look if I hire an Americano to be my chef in Italy? Hmm? It says you want the best food no matter where it comes from. Good excuse, but my customers are Italiano, no? They might be upset. Well, I'll be back in the kitchen, too busy cooking for anyone to ever notice. People talk, Roberto. So, let them talk. As long as the food is excellent, which it will be, then nothing else matters. I mean, ultimately, that's all they'll be talking about. I think 
No. But I wish you luck. Please, just, just give me a chance. You won't regret it, I promise. We can even try it for a week just to start. Buona notte. Buona notte. Last day. Yeah, but I left the fish in our kitchenette last night and it smelled rotten this morning. It was so bad. So, so bad. Hey guys. Morning. Hey, good morning. morning. How are you? Good. good. Hey. Morning. Hi. Is everything all right? Yeah. Um, what are you eating? Oh, it's um, breakfast bar. It's one of my recipes. Yeah. Do, oh. you, do you want to try? Yeah. Thanks. What do you think? I think you're missing something. Oh, what? Hmm. Butter. Let me show you how to use it. I'm not gonna use butter. Here. Oh, no, thanks. I already ate breakfast. <laughs> oh, that's not what that was. Come on. It's the last day of your tour. You gotta try it. What is that? An Italian pastry. Oh, thanks. I know that much. <laughs> filled with peach and fig filling. So, what do you think? You're right. It's, it's pretty good. Uh-huh. <laughs> you happy? Yeah, I am. It's my recipe. Really? Why is something you made being sold here? Is this your bakery or something? <laughs> no, I used to work here. Oh. I used to tinker around with some of the staples, and I came up with this variation in filling. Well, it's very unique. Not healthy by any means. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's, you can taste the butter in it. Why you always got to go with the healthy thing? Being healthy is important. Well, yeah, sure, I get that. It is important to be healthy. It's also important to enjoy life. Why do you have to be so obsessed with that? All right, everybody. Uh, this is Giovanna, the baking goddess. She's creating some serious magic over here. You've got to try it. But don't eat too much because we got a whole lot more to eat and see today. No culinary tour is complete without pizza as it's truly meant to be. None of those American imitations, right? <laughs> now, David here yes. is gonna tell us all about what makes pizza Italian. See. Well, for me, it all starts with the sauce. Hmm? Not out of a can. Capite? Okay. Now, you can make the pizza with the sauce you can make it a pizza without the sauce. You can have red sauce, Fredo sauce, you pick. But for me, my favorite, tomato, eh? Simple, no? Olives. This is made fresh one hour ago with tomatoes that were picked yesterday, huh? Eh? Oh, welcome, my friends, to Italy. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, remember, don't put the cheese on until after your pizza is cooked, mostly. Okay, Danny. Oh. Nice job. That looks good. Hey. You happy? I'm using olive oil? Yeah. I'm actually surprised you haven't used so many veggies that you can't see the dough. <laughs> well, I was going to chop up spinach and put in the dough, but I didn't want to offend David, so. It's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, I'm sorry about what I said earlier. You know, the whole healthy thing and. Oh, no, it's OK. You're being honest. I won't hold it against you. Thanks. And you know, the, the reason why I focus on healthy so much is because I had this faux brownie recipe that was a big hit. Faux, like, as in fake. I use healthy substitutes. <laughs> That's what I don't understand. What's wrong with real? No, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, well, it's just, it's kind of what I'm known for now. What's with the diary? 
It's not a diary. It's um, it's for notes for, for recipes. For your followers. Actually, it's it's for a cookbook. Got a deadline coming up, so I'm just trying to come up with some fresh ideas. A cookbook. Mm-hmm. It's great. Thank you. You know, it's gonna take more than olive oil, fish, and pizza to have true Italian inspiration. I know, I know. I'm gonna, you know, keep exploring the local cuisine, see if I can come up with fresh recipes. You know, I could show you some things, some things that you really shouldn't miss. Really? Mm -hmm. I thought this tour was everything I needed. <laughs> <laughs> it is for the average tourist, but not for a breakthrough chef. Oh. Well, I mean, don't you have your job? Yeah, I've got a tour here and there, but I can fit it in. Well, it's, it's really nice of you. I mean, why would you want to help me, though? I had your breakfast bar. <laughs> and it's nice to be able to talk to another chef. Well, it's up to you. Oh, yeah. Um, I'd like that. Great. You know, I really should take you to see some of the sights around here, but uh, I figured you could use something a little more peaceful and close by today. Oh, this is great. Yeah. Do you come up here often? Uh, you know, yeah, I really prefer the view from up here rather than, uh, you know, right down there by the beach. Oh, really? Do you not like the ocean or something? No, I don't. And don't say anything to your mom. She teased me mercilessly growing up. I heard. So, so what is it? Is it sharks, jellyfish? Yes, all of the above. <laughs> well, you're missing out. Oh, huh, well. So, how is your mom doing, anyway? She's great. Why do you ask? Uh, I just got the sense that she and your dad, you know, don't really get along. Oh, yeah. They... They definitely bicker a lot, so. Sometimes I just feel like they stir stuff up out of nothing. It's, it's weird. Mm. That must have been hard to see. Yeah. But I know that they love each other. You know, they just have a really argumentative way of showing it. That's not the reason why you, you never, you know. What? Why I never got married? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. I know the family has their theories, but uh, I can assure you, your mother and her marriage did not scare me off. Of no. course. <laughs> no, no, I'm in the uh, loved and lost category. Really? What happened? Oh, no, no, nothing tragic. Oh. Yeah, no, I just, uh, I just kind of missed out on my chance years ago. You know, things were great, and I got scared. I let her go. And when I finally figured out that that was stupid, <laughs> Um, it was too late. She'd moved on. Is that one of the reasons why you came out here, or...? Yes, partly. But don't say anything to the family. I really like hearing the rumors. <laughs> well, she must have been really special. Yeah, she was. You know, but she's, she's happily married now, with the kids and the house and career, et cetera, et cetera. And no one since then is...? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, I admit I'm okay with just missing what could have been. I have my work, it keeps me busy, and, um, you know, I, I prefer it that way. Oh, have you, um, have you had any, you know, potential buyers, any interest in the house? Oh, yeah, some. Yeah, we'll see. You know, I could actually bake cookies. The house smells good when people come in, and then I, I, I promise I will just put regular cookie ingredients in, nothing weird. Thank you, yes. <laughs> I'll let you know. Yeah. Oh, so tell me a little bit about the culinary tour thing. Did that work out for you? Yeah, it was great, actually. The, um, the guide offered to take me around and see other must-sees in the area, so... Oh, that was very nice of him. Yeah, it was, actually. Hello? April, William here. So how's that new and improved cookbook coming along? Hi, um, yeah, it's, it's going great. I'm glad to hear it. So you on track for the uh, deadline? Yes, yes, I, I will be. <laughs> Actually, um, since I have you, I just wanted to run something by you, see what you thought. Mm -hmm. Instead of me focusing on the low calorie and low fat type of healthy, I, I was just wondering if I, if I switched to just natural foods. 
What's the difference? Well, it would be playing up beautiful, flavorful foods, nothing processed with real ingredients, and even if it means being a little bit less diet friendly. Mm, I don't know. It, it, it's okay, it was, it was just a thought. You know what, I'll run it by marketing and I'll get back to you, all right? Okay, sure. Okay. But keep at it though. I will. Good morning. Buongiorno, Roberto. Are you hungry? I'm starved. Where are we going? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> what is this place? Oh, it's a uh, stop I make on some of my other culinary tours. Uh -huh. That is a lot of geese. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, they have a lot of their own animals here. They make uh, jams and jellies, different kinds of cheeses, oh, stuff yeah? like that. Yeah. Cool. Oh, do you mind if I take this? Oh, no, not at all. Pronto. Si. Si. Capisco. Si. Ciao. <sighs> Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, it's just a job interview that I didn't get. Oh, I'm sorry. What was the job? A chef in my neighborhood restaurant. So it's, uh... Anyway, you want to eat? Yeah. I'm sorry. Grazie. Thank you. Wow, this is a lot of food for one charcuterie board. <laughs> Yeah, you know, in Italy, it's actually called uh, salumi. Oh, I didn't know that. It's a lot of great cheeses here. Do you have a favorite? You're gonna laugh. No, I won't. Mozzarella? I, I know, it's the most basic and bland cheese. Yeah, well, it's also an Italian staple. You really shouldn't be ashamed about that. Mm. But you've tried the others, right? Oh, yeah, of course. I just, course. I'm, I don't know, I really love the simplicity of mozzarella. Yeah, I mean, in the right combinations, it's perfect. But in the name of research and your culinary quest, you've got to try everything. I never turn down cheese, so don't worry about that. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. All right. It's so good. Hold on, before we eat, I'm going to... <gasps> yes, this just screams delicious, oh my goodness. What do you think it is that makes it taste so good? Um, the, the flavors and the... Uh, go further. The sweetness of the honey paired with the spiciness of the meats and the cheese. It's, well, it's a lot of flavor for one slab of wood. Yeah, yeah, it is. Hold on. What do you think? The combination of bold flavors brings out the best experience for your palate. Hashtag Salumi rules. <laughs> I like it. I'm posting it right now. I figure if I keep this up, I can appease my publishers. So they won't give me a hard time about, you know, nutrition and fat content and all that. Are they really that picky? Yeah, they're just, they're convinced I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I just, I have to prove them wrong. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. Where do we begin? So what is it you like about cooking? Other than the food? Yeah. <laughs> I love how it brings people together. You mean like for special occasions and stuff? Yeah, but you know, also just for the everyday. You know, like when I was growing up, my parents, they fought all the time. Mm. They still do, to be honest, but I don't know, when we sat down, we had a good meal, there was peace. It's nice. Hey, what about you? Cooking was kind of always a source of contention. Oh. What? Hey, what do you think about these leftovers? Should we test your culinary skills? Well, what about your culinary skills? Oh, is that a challenge? Maybe. Challenge accepted. <laughs> so this is your uncle's place? Oh, yeah, um, but it's some his investment property. He's trying to sell it. That's amazing. I'd buy it if I could afford it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so what are you making? 
Oh, I'm using the cheese and meat from the charcuterie board and making a pasta. Oh, mm -hmm. very nice. And what about you? Flatbread, not to be confused with pizza. <laughs> very original. Oh, come on, you're making pasta. Yeah, you're right. Is this your recipe book? Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh, that's cool. Well, some of these ingredients don't normally go together. Let me guess, the healthy ones. <laughs> well, not all. But looks like they might take away from the flavor. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> well, do you like any of these? Um, yeah, I mean, there's a couple I like. Well, why not just make what you want? I wish it were that simple. Hello. Hey. Oh, um, this is Rob. I was telling you about him from the culinary tour. Yeah, hi, Rob. I'm Derek. Nice to meet you, Derek. Uh, sorry to intrude. No, no. Happy to have you. Boy, it smells good. Something's cooking, huh? Oh, two things are cooking, actually. And you have to try both of them and tell us which one you like better. I can do that. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. is that how it's going to be? It is. All right. <laughs> OK, I'm going to start with the flatbread. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Really good. Okay, okay, well, try mine. Wow. <laughs> okay, no nepotism. Okay. Being as impartial as is humanly possible, I gotta say both take first place. Oh, come on. Oh, you're so competitive. <laughs> hey, see for yourself. All right. That is not an easy decision. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Cheers? Cheers. Mmm. That's, that's amazing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's really good, though. The meat. It's a really good choice. Oh. All right. Thank you. And, mm. Well, this is delicious. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I do. Okay. Y'all finished? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's coming back to Uncle D. Mm. Oh. One of my favorite things out here is the produce. Yeah. When I first came out, I stayed at this little bed and breakfast, and I ordered lunch, and I saw the owner go out the back door and around the side of the house, and, uh, she picked the most incredible tomato that I've ever seen. Most incredible tomato, hey? I'm not kidding. I mean, she brought it back in, sliced it up, and made the best bruschetta. Mm. Oh, it was right then that I realized I was at the right place for cooking. Do most people have their own gardens here? I mean, David made it sound like picking food fresh off the vine was a regular daily thing. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, why not? The growing conditions here are just amazing. You know, when I think of Italy, this is exactly what I imagine. <laughs> so, do you have a green thumb? No, not really. Never really focused on it. Well, when did you move here? Mm, to Italy? Yeah. A couple years ago. From where? New York, same as you. What? Yeah. Why didn't you say anything? Oh, well, I couldn't. I was being Roberto. Uh, well, why Italy? Oh, man, well, the short answer, same as you, to better my cooking. And the long answer? Oh, long answer. It took me a while to decide what it was I wanted to do. I kind of wandered around a lot, bounced around from different careers for a few years. My parents weren't too happy about that. But nothing really clicked. Not until I discovered cooking. Oh. What made you decide to, you know, pursue a career as a chef? All right, I know this is going to sound cliche. My grandmother. Really? Yes. <laughs> she was an amazing cook. And we used to make stuff in the kitchen all the time. And yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And when I told my father that's what I wanted to do for a career, he told me it was you know, a waste of my potential. Ouch. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I wasted a lot of opportunities back then, so I can't really blame him. But, uh, 
At the time, we got in a big argument, and I left. I told myself I'd never come back until I made it. I know it sounds childish, but it's kind of a matter of pride now. No, I get it. So, so you won't move back until you get a job here? Yeah, but not just any job. A job is a chef. Right, but you could still move back to the U.S. and just not go home. Yeah, I suppose. But I don't know, for now, I think I'd like to just keep the distance. Hmm. More than you wanted to know? No. Oh. I like learning about you. You wanna go pick some ingredients for dinner? Oh, yes. A couple incredible tomatoes or something like that? I think it's a great idea. <laughs> There's some right over here. That was really good. Why do you always sound so surprised? <laughs> what I am surprised about is how people have been responding to what we've been cooking since I've been here. Are you blowing up the internet? Oops, tiny ripples, maybe. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Your publisher's got to be loving this. Oh, I hope so. I mean, I don't know if they care about this as much as the focus groups, but we'll see. Hey, you two. Hey. Rob, good to see you. Guess what? What? I've got a property investment company coming to look at the house again tomorrow. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, these guys have seen it before, but I guess they're serious about turning it into a rental investment now. So they're going to come by, and then we're going to go to lunch and talk business. Oh, well, if it's about the house, why don't you just have lunch here? Yeah, we could whip something up. Yeah, we could do that. Oh, that'd be perfect. All right, well, guess we better go shopping. Fish, mm. show me mirror. Show me mirror, fish. Oh, um, I don't know. Do you think fish is the way to go? I don't know. I mean, it's elegant, right? Yeah, I, I guess it is. <laughs> um, two, this one. Grazie. Unless, of course, they don't like fish. Oh, yeah. We should definitely have a backup. Like a uh, chicken or goat? Goats? Those little cute ones we saw at the farm? <laughs> well, not those goats. Oh. <laughs> so what are you thinking? Um, I'll start on the chicken, you start on the fish. All right, I'll just meet in the middle? Yeah. All right. And hey. Yeah? Thank you for doing this. Happy to. Oh, could you bring me the, um, the arugula? Of course. Put it on top of this. Here you go. Oh, Thank you. Very nice. I know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready for the tomatoes? I am ready. Excellent. Thank you. You want to try this? Yeah. Mm. More salt. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's my cue. Good luck. Go. We should uh, we should get out of here. All right, let's yeah. go. Thank you so much again for your help. Oh, are you kidding me? I was happy to. You know how long it's been since I've had an actual occasion to cook for? And you were great back there, by the way. Yeah? Yeah, like no limitations, just straight cooking. <laughs> Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know why you've been so unsure about your cooking. Well, I'm, I'm not unsure about my cooking. I'm just, well, I'm unsure about this brand that my publishers have been trying to push on me. And I understand why, it's just. Yeah? Yeah, I just, I didn't mean to get stuck into this diet category. Mm. You know, it's like I make one healthy thing that's yummy and low calorie, and then I have to keep it up even if. If what? It was a fluke. Mm. Well, all right. If you had a different niche to cook for, what would it be? Mm. No niche. Just cooking, you know? 
whatever I want, whenever I want. <laughs> you know, you can do that. Nobody's stopping you. In theory, yes, but... I mean, wouldn't it be crazy to just give up on the opportunity for a cookbook? I don't know. But I think you'll figure it out. Really? I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I'll see you tomorrow? Oh, definitely, yeah. Thank you again for your help, you know. I know my uncle's super grateful, too. Oh, it's my pleasure. Uh, will you tell your uncle, uh, good luck, uh, <laughs> and thanks? Yeah, I, I will. Um, good night. Have a good night. You too. Hey, how was the meeting? Oh, really good, yeah. I think, uh, I think they're gonna make an offer. Oh. Of course, I've said that before, and uh, nothing's come of it, but uh, boy, having the meeting here was a great idea. And the food, fantastic. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> In fact, I hope you don't mind if we have the leftovers for dinner. No, not at all. You know, I had this friend back home. We used to work at this little cafe together, and she refused to eat leftovers. She said it ruined the food. Well, so what did she do if she actually had anything left over? She just threw it away. Oh, wow. Well, I am not that picky. You pass the fish? Yes. So, your mom called today. Oh, yeah? What did she want? Oh, she was uh, checking up on you. It's not what she actually said, but I know my sister. Well, what did you tell her? I told her you're doing great. You're working, exploring. She said I should try to set you up while you're out here. Oh, great. I'll admit I don't have a lot of people in your age group. Oh, no, please. Don't worry about it. Why? You got a lot of guys back home? No, no, nothing like that. I just... I've been super busy with work lately, so I just haven't had time. No, I know how that goes. Yeah. Well, maybe while you're here, it's all the more reason to take a break now and then and uh, see what you might be missing. So, um, it's with the shovel, hmm? We are going on a hunt. With shovels? It's a little blunt, don't you think? <laughs> well, not that kind of hunt. Think of it more like a treasure hunt. You're not going to tell me any more than that, are you? Nope. Might as well sit back and relax, because we've got a little ways to go still. Okay. All right, any ideas yet? Mm, well, since these are pretty small, I assume you're not planning to bury me out here? <laughs> no. <laughs> Think of what's like gold for a chef. Is this about olive oil again? No, not liquid gold. Truffles. We're looking for truffles. <laughs> so my philosophy is, if you don't want to buy them because they're crazy expensive, you find your own. I love that. Okay, um, yep, how do, how do we do this? Okay, it's hit or miss, really, but you want to look for typical mushroom conditions. Okay. It's like moist soil, usually around like the base of a tree. Okay, are they visible from the surface, or do we have to dig? We're going to have to dig. Treasure hunt. Okay, mm -hmm. I love it. All right, let's try here. Okay. All right, you want to join? Yeah. Just, just yeah, anywhere? Yeah, try right in there. All right. Ooh. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> huh, here we go. Let's try here. Oh, why here? Well, you see how the dirt's kind of disturbed? Oh, somebody already found truffles here and dug them up. Yeah, or something, like rodents or critters or something. Oh, OK. Yeah. You know, I never would have done this at home. You know you can. Yeah, I just, I never would have thought about it. Did you learn how to do this here? Mm-hmm, yeah. Well, what else did you learn? I learned how to make real Italian pasta from scratch. Really? Yeah, the guy who taught me was super patient. It took me forever, but I finally got it. I love homemade pasta. Oh, me too. What else did you learn? Uh, I saw a different way for running a kitchen. It's almost 
therapeutic here. Really? Yeah. I mean, usually kitchens are such high-stress environments. That's weird. Well, and they still can be. You know Giovanna from the bakery where I used to work? She... Our holidays used to be so busy there. She'd be barking orders at me. Roberto, get me this, get me that. But she had this system. Her movements were so smooth and relaxed. If you could step back and watch, it's like a... like a gentle symphony. You know, you have that way about you, too. You think so? Yeah. I mean, watching yesterday, you just had so much confidence and ease. It was, it was really nice. Thanks. I think, uh, I think it was fun. You know, we make a good team. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Wait, is, is this? Oh, your first truffle. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. Oh, no. It's, it's so it's messy. Okay. Um, do you want to see if there's more? Yes. <laughs> Hey, thank you again for today. It was, it was really fun. I honestly don't think I ever would have gone truffle hunting. You're welcome. So, what have you got planned for the rest of the day? Oh, I don't know. Nothing, really. Well, I uh, was wondering, would you... Oh, oh. what's going on? No, no, it, it's, it's okay. I'll just, um, I'll let you know if we can't figure something else out. No worries. My uncle can't come get us. He says he's hours away at some work dinner thing. Well, the mechanic can't fix this today either. He's got to go back to the shop, get some parts, and I'll fix it tomorrow. What? No, no tow truck? Mm. Think of it more like a doctor who makes house calls. Yeah, your uncle's place is pretty far from here, but uh, the mechanic says there's an inn just down the road. Oh. Lei, Karina. Ha bisogno di un posto dove stare. Ha una stanza libera. No, grazie. <sighs> Sorry about that. Um, I'm sure we can find you right if we just ask for it. No, no, I, I don't want you to be stranded. And I mean, like you said, it's super far out. We should just, let's just try the end. All right. I uh, wasn't kidding when he said up the road. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding, I'm just trying not to hyperventilate. Hey, what did I say about thing, anyways? Nothing. Yeah, I mean, you seem a little upset. Well, not upset. Well, what did he say? He offered his place to stay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, well, I was not included in that invitation. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think he was quite smitten with you. I think the inn is just up ahead. Okay, great. Buonasera. How can I help you? Buonasera. Do you have any vacancies? Oh, we have one room. Just one? Yes. Well, it's your call. It's not like we have any other options. How many beds? One very comfortable. Uh, do you have any um, rollout beds? Mm. No, no, just the baby crib. All right, I guess uh, we'll take it. The room, not the crib. Okay. <laughs> Grazie. Hmm. All right, I'll take the bed. You can have the floor. I mean, sorry, that came out wrong. No, no, you should absolutely have the bed. I mean, you've been driving all day, so, you know, it's, it's fine. No, seriously, I, I sleep great on the floor. Okay. You know, we don't have to sleep now. No, you, know, uh, you want to get something to eat? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So what is this place anyways? It's great, right? Yeah. It's this old fort, and now it's... Uh, it's a cute little village. Yeah. 
I think we would have just driven on by. We would have missed it. All right. Not so bad that we got stranded then. Not at all. Well, thank you. Grazie. I'm starving. Should have been snacking on the truffles. What? After all our hard work? Cool. <laughs> we could sell them and use the money to fund our whole little detour. At least. <laughs> hey, I'm... You were gonna ask me something earlier, Nathan. What was it? Oh, nothing. It's not important. Okay. Actually, I was gonna ask you if you wanted to go out to dinner. We are out to dinner. <laughs> I, I mean, like a proper date. Oh. Well, if you would have asked that, I. Could have said I'd like that. Good. <laughs> so do you miss home? Yeah, sometimes I do. Think you'll ever go back? You know, even if you don't. Um... If I don't make it out here? <laughs> I don't know. I'd like to think I wouldn't compromise, mm. but I know that sounds petty. No, I get it. Yeah. What about you? Are your uh, parents supportive of what you do with yeah, your cooking? They are, actually. I mean, my mom, she, she teaches me a lot. She, she thinks I take things too seriously. <laughs> well, do you? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but only when it really matters, you know? It's not like I stress out all the time. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. I'm always worried about the stress. They say it's the stress that makes chefs burn out so quickly, mm -hmm. right? I always wonder if I'm gonna you know, work so hard to get there and then just hate it. Yeah. Well, if that did happen and you did end up hating it, would you, would you wanna take it all back? No. No, I'd, I'd still wanna get there. Get the whole experience of it. Yeah, learn from it. Yeah. Mm. What about you? With your whole brownie recipe sensation, <laughs> would you take that back if you could? I mean, on the one hand, maybe I would. You know, I wouldn't be so boxed into this corner that I'm in. And yeah. on the other hand, I wouldn't have all this attention and interest from publishers, so I, I don't know. You might not have come out here either. Yeah. That would have been terrible. Yeah, it would have been. Should, um, uh, yeah, um, go. Duh. yeah, yeah, it's getting late. <laughs> uh, do you mind if I take a shower? Oh, yeah, no, go, go right ahead. Okay. still in Italy. Okay, hey, you know what? If this isn't an emergency, can we do this another time? Yeah, now's not good. Thanks. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Who was it? It's my dad. He calls me to check in on me and uh, Remind me of all the things I haven't accomplished yet. He claims he still can't get the time zone right between New York and here. Oh, I'm sorry. What about your mom? Does she, does she call you often? Yeah, um, we talk a couple times a month. But uh, she wants to come out here, and I know if she does, he's gonna come with her. Mm. So. Must be hard for her to have you so far away. Yeah, it's okay. 
you know, my daddy, sometimes he just calls me for the strangest things. <laughs> like what? Oh, like a stupid movie that he watched wants to tell me about or what he ate for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Little things like that, you know? And then I realized that I, I think he just was calling because he wants to hear my voice. Make sure I'm doing okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry I woke you up. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's good night. Good night. Ciao. Ciao. I have a mechanic call, so the van's ready. Oh, good. Let's uh, hope he doesn't ask for your number. <laughs> Is your uncle? No. Wait, am I am I reading this right? What? It's a it's a reply to one of my posts. Is the restaurant owner back home that they're opening up a new high-end restaurant? They are interested in having me as a chef. <laughs> You're kidding. No, look, they, there's even a reply from my publisher. Just wait until her cookbook comes out. <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. Oh, I'm being super insensitive. I'm, I'm sorry. You, you just didn't get that job and I'm just, sorry. No, it's, it's fine. Congratulations. Hey. What is it? Well, you got the job offer because of the posts, right? Well, I mean, I think it's like an interview at this point, but I, I guess. Okay, and the posts were all about food. What are you getting at? You and I have been cooking together. It's not all you. <laughs> so what, do you think my posts are yours or something? No, I'm not. I mean, you know what, some of that stuff was. And the rest were things we made together. And you know what? This isn't coming out no, right. No, 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 no. So, so you think because we cooked together and you, what, took me around to some touristy foodie places, that what? I didn't say that, okay? I mean, the posts are mine. The, the content is mine. People are interested in what I'm cooking and creating, you know, not... Not me? You know what, you're right. Why should I be upset? It's just a dream of mine. And I shouldn't be upset that it's becoming a reality for you. Rob. Grazie. Ciao. Ciao. Thanks. Yeah. I'll, um, I'll see you later. You're back. Uh, everything okay? Yeah, uh, but the van got fixed, so. Oh, good, good. Well, you look content. Oh, yeah, well, the buyer made an offer on the house. Full price. Really? That, that's great. Yeah, and it's all thanks to you and Rob. Oh, I'm sure the house had something to do with it. <laughs> yeah. Where is he? Did, he? did he stick around? No. Complicated. Yeah. No. I mean, they were my posts, right? And it's not like I asked him to take me around everywhere. Do you think he helped you? 
Yeah. It's not like he did everything. Does he think that? I don't know. I just... I just wish he could have just been happy for me, you know? Sure. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted him to hide how he was really feeling. So do you... Do you think I was in the wrong then? I... Oh, no. I'm... I'm not the one to judge that. I mean, maybe you don't want to admit it, but from what I've seen, there seems to be something between you two. So what do I do? If you care for him at all, then career, pride, mistakes, you shouldn't get in the way. Excellent. Don't miss out on the focaccia. Delicioso. Rob was looking for you. So I'll just be inside. Hi. Hey. Look, I won't stay long. I've been thinking, and... I'm sorry. It was pretty arrogant of me to want to take credit for all your hard work. No, I... I was jealous. You were right about that. You deserve this. Bob, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything, but I am happy for you. Bob. I'll see you around. Glad to see you, Giovanna. Ciao. I've been overwhelmed by the amazing response to my experiences in Italy. The wonderful food and recipes aren't all my creations. I've failed to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's with the incredible Rob Cowley. He has selflessly helped me on this journey, not just to discover Italy, but myself, I have been lucky to get to know him and see his culinary passion firsthand. He's an amazing cook and deserves to be a chef much more than I do. Any restaurant would be lucky to have him. All packed? Yep, just about. I was thinking we should go out for dinner since it's your last night here. My treat. Oh, well, you don't have to do that. Well, it's not like I get a lot of chances to spoil my nieces and nephews these days. <laughs> well, it's not like I'm seven years old anymore. Exactly. So I can't cement my role as favorite uncle with a stuffed animal. What do you think? Sure. That sounds good. So what are you going to do when you get home? Uh, probably return the advance money to my publisher. 
you're not doing it. I wrote them an email this morning telling them I don't think it's going to be finished in time. I honestly don't think it's ever going to be finished, you know, at least not the way they and I would both want, so. Gosh, I'm sorry. No, it's, it's honestly not what I wanted anyways. Yeah, what about the chef job? Turned it down. <laughs> Rob? I am... Um, I hope he gets to achieve all his dreams. You know, I really think you're gonna miss all this. Yeah, you know, I really am. And I'm really gonna miss you. You know, about that, I have been thinking Christmas is going to be here before we know it, and uh, I kind of miss those snowy Christmases back home, you know? Yeah? Or just the snow? No, well, maybe a little more than that. <laughs> oh, it's past time for me to move on. You know, just get back home, back to family. We would love to have you home. You know, not just for the holidays. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd like that too. Yeah? I, uh, I have a confession to make. I may have invited someone else. You did. Well, I was just thinking <laughs> it would be a shame for you to leave Italy without at least having said goodbye. Hi. Hi. Um. Uh, you know, that view really is spectacular. You probably ought to go check it out. Thanks. Uh, I'll take care of our order. Thank you. Sure. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt your going away dinner. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Didn't think or didn't want? I'm really glad you're here. I saw what you wrote. You didn't have to say that. Yeah. I guess I did, actually. And you turned down the job. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have done that. No, it... It was the right decision. Just... I'm so sorry that I hurt you. You know, after everything that you've done for me and... Teaching me all the things that you've learned, taking me around. I'm just, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's, it's okay. I mean, I didn't want the tour to end because I was afraid I'd never see you again. Really? Yeah. Me too. I mean, but you made me excited about cooking again, you know? I just, you reminded me of why I fell in love with it in the first place, and I just, I just really love spending time with you. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to lose you. I mean, you don't have to. I really hate to interrupt this moment. Uh, <laughs> I don't suppose either of you have checked your social media accounts lately? No. Uh, you may want to. <sighs> wow. It's the restaurant from back home. It looks like my restaurant may need two new chefs. Rob Kelly and April Meyer, when can the two of you meet with me? What are you gonna do? I, 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 I don't know what... <laughs> What do you want to do? Well, I'm not going to do it without you. Really? Yeah. When do we leave? to an endeavor that I am quite proud of. I am excited to have not one, but two cooking sensations running the culinary vision for my new restaurant. Ladies and gentlemen, chefs, 
April Meyer, and Rob Cowley. Thank you. You ready? All right. Okay, three, three two, two, one. <laughs> Now seating, come on in. Thanks, Dad. Well, are you ready for this, Chef April? Are you ready, Chef Roberto? <laughs> I'm never gonna live that down, am I? No, you're not. Come on, let's go. <laughs>